The following is for heat enthusiasts only. If you're not a heat enthusiast, please go elsewhere. All right. This isn't something that will be good for you. One of the most exciting moments is headed for those of us that love the summer, love to play ball in the summer heat. Probably the most convenient sport. If if someone loves playing ball in over 100 degree weather, I come from a community where you're, (laughs) at least there's a little click in the community, where your status in the community is dependent upon the number of hours you play ball when it's in the mid-90s with high humidity or in the hundreds with no humidity. And I'm sure there are hundreds of people like this. And unfortunately, there's no place to turn to. People like this feel very lonely because nobody gets it. Nobody gets it. If you're not into this, don't do it. But if you're into it, this is going to be the pulse. This is the pulse of your blood. And this is something that you have to take full advantage of. And it is very, very healthy. People pay money to go into saunas, which are 180 to 225 degrees. Uh, granted, they're only there for 10, 20, sometimes 30 minutes. But, you know, in the... Uh, in that show, The Biggest Loser, where they lose weight, they're in the sauna for an hour. So they're in the sauna for an hour. Granted, over here, you're pl- playing ball, but the temperatures are much lower than what you would find in the sauna. I've seen camps with kindergartners with temperatures over 100 degrees daily. This happened back in 1988. Nobody stayed home. Everyone was outside. This was in the days before the heat advisory. These were in the days where people issued, the National Weather Service issued advisories for animals. You bring the animal inside. If a dog, the if you can't walk on the pavement because it's too hot, neither could your dog. People should be looking in the car, uh, making sure that the cars are empty. Of the, don't leave any child in the car when temperatures are this hot. That's the things that people should be worried about uh, in regards to... To themselves, this is a, you know, the people who are not into it, I think they're missing out on a tremendous opportunity, especially the youth who could be playing ball and instead they're inside. And many times, especially those living on the coast, many times temperatures don't actually reach the true heat advisory criteria. But even if it does, this is a true experience that those of us who are already into this, those of us that are already doing it, we're doing it anyways. So this is something that we do not want to miss. And those of us that are not there, we could at least imagine that we are there. I want to hear from the crowd at this point. Anyone who is not a heat enthusiast has certainly turned this off by now. The only people left are the heat enthusiasts. There's no question. There's no question we're going to hear a major cheer. Oh yeah, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. All these tennis players. I'm going to say some advice, however. If you do play tennis and you're, you have a normal serve a good, or even a better than normal serve and it, the high humidity, there's ac- so many rackets a person could break as the sweat and the, the rackets just fly out of the hand and rackets are a lot of money. So here's the advice. 7-Eleven sells these gloves of rubber and you'll have to buy many, many pairs when you're playing tennis in such heat. I personally think you're best off doing it in the middle of the day when the sun is out because the sun will at least evaporate the sweat. And at night, it's just just every moment you'll be switching gloves. Uh, but, you know, and also it's more fun. There's more of a thrill. There's more exciting and it's healthier. You get more of a runner's high when you do it during the day. And always remember, go into an air-conditioned building afterwards and get your Slurpee from 7-Eleven. It just feels so amazing. Uh, so that's... There's hundreds of people out there that are going to be doing this either way. And if you don't, you're going to be stuck inside for an entire week, maybe even more. If you don't, it's, <laughs> it's I don't know what to say. All right. Um, thank you for listening and have and really enjoy this weather.